Hello everyone. Welcome to the video about solving inequalities. So in this video we will learn how to solve one step and two step inequalities. Uh, you can see the video about basic inequalities from the link uh, you'll find from this video. Okay, so as we know that inequalities and equations have a lot in similar. There are many similarities between them, but there are some differences as well. So first of all, we will learn about the differences between equations and inequalities. As you can see, you can add the same quantity to each side. Like in equations, as, as we know, if there is a question like x minus 4 is equal to 5, or if I write the same as inequality, x minus 4 is less than 5. So to, to make, to isolate our x, we have to remove the negative 4. To remove the negative 4, we do plus 4 and plus 4 on both sides. Uh, this point is saying that you can add the same quantity to each side. You can do the same thing with inequality as well plus 4 and plus 4 and the answer in, in in equation will be x is equal to plus 4 minus 4 cancel each other is equal to 9 same thing here negative 4 and positive 4 cancel each other the answer will be x is is smaller than 9 so let's see the next point you can subtract the same quantity from each side uh, in the similar way in as in equations where x plus 7 is 10 I will write the similar inequality x plus 7 is greater than or equal to 10 so to to cancel the 10 here you will do negative 7 negative 7 on both sides like subtract by 7 from 7 by 7 yeah so same thing you can do in inequality and same way here you will get x is equal to 3 in inequality you will get x is greater than or equal to 3 same like equations okay, let's see the third point you can multiply or divide each side by the same positive quantity remember the word positive is very important here because there's a different rule when it comes to multiply or divide by negative quantity so let's say you have 3x is equal to 21 and on the other hand you have 3x is is greater than 21 now to remove this 3 because it's multiplying with x the opposite is, is division you will do the same thing and you will do the same thing on the other side of equal and on the other side of inequality so 3 cancel 3 now you have x equal to 21 divided by 3 is 7 same way in inequality, 3 cancel 3, x is greater than 21 divided by 3 is 7, x is greater than 7. Okay, if you see the same thing in division, let's say you have, let's say you have x divided by 4 is equal to 5, or x divided by 4 is less than or equal to 5. So to cancel this 4, you have to do the opposite, which is times 4, times 4 on both sides, 4 cancel 4, so x is equal to 20. You will do the same thing in an inequality times by 4, times by 4 on both sides, and x is less than or equal to 20. Till here, all these things we do in equations will be done in the same way in inequalities. Now, with the next point, you will see the difference. The only difference is but if you multiply or divide each side by a negative quantity the inequality symbol must be reversed the symbol will flip let me show you examples so as you can see in these examples negative 4x is less than 24 so to cancel the negative 4 you divide both sides by negative 4 so here negative 4 cancel negative 4 it will be just x 24 divided by negative 4 is negative 6 but when we are dividing both sides by negative our sign flips so from less than it will change to greater than okay same thing will happen with the with the next example x divided by negative 3 is greater than or equal to 5 so to cancel the negative 3 we have to multiply both sides by 
negative 3 because the opposite of division is is multiplication okay so negative 3 cancels negative 3 x is left here 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 and the sign will be flipped or reversed so but instead of greater than equal to now it says x is less than or equal to negative 15 this is the only difference between equations and inequalities now let's see some examples let's see the first one x plus 4 is is less than 2 so the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4 we'll do it on both sides so positive 4 cancels negative 4 what's left with us is x less than 2 minus 4 is negative 2 so x is less than negative 2 okay let's see the next example 2 plus x is less than negative 3 to cancel this 2 there's no sign before 2 it means it's a positive 2 to cancel this 2 I'll do the opposite negative 2 negative 2 on both sides 2 and 2 cancel each other I have a positive x I can also write it just x now x is less than negative 5 okay let's see one more question this time it's a two-step inequality so you have to remove two things uh, this negative 2 and this 3 which is multiplying with x to remove the negative 2 first I'll do positive 2 positive 2 on both sides so negative 2 cancel negative 2 positive 2 so I have 3x less than 9 to cancel this 3 I will divide by 3 divide by 3 on both sides 3 cancel 3 x is less than 3 and the last example is 4 minus 3x is less than or equal to 10 let's write this example here and do it in a better way okay so the first thing we have to remove is this 4 and there is no sign before the 4 it means it's a positive 4 so I will remove positive 4 by doing minus 4 minus 4 on both sides so now I am left with negative 3x which is less than equal to 6 10 minus 4 is 6 now to remove the negative 3 because it is multiplying with x the opposite will be divide by a negative 3 and divide by negative 3 on both sides if negative 3 cancels negative 3 now you have x and 6 divided by negative 3 is a negative 2 because when we divide a positive number by a negative number the answer is negative and as I told you in the beginning when we divide both sides by a negative number in an inequality the sign reverses or the sign flip itself so now it will become x is greater than or equal to negative 2 this is how we solve inequalities one step and two step inequalities I hope this video is of help to you if you want me to solve anything else let me know in the comments and share and subscribe to support our channel uh, have a nice day